Mm-hmm. Now let's go to the beginning of Romans 4 and we wrap up. <coughs> Verse 6, Even as David also described the blessedness of the man unto whom God imputeth righteousness without works, saying, Blessed are they whose iniquities are forgiven and whose sins are covered. Blessed is the man to whom the Lord will not impute sin. As we grow to the place where we no longer willingly commit sin, then we get into this phase where God no longer imputes sin. He's, he turned, he's blind to it. Wouldn't that be a good place to get to? Wouldn't that be a good place to get to? Mm-hmm. We have trained ourselves so much, our minds so much, we not have put on the mind of Christ. We no longer willingly commit sin. <laughs> and then we enter this phase called sanctification where God no longer imputes sin. Mm-hmm. Because we are this, we're walking, we're, we're no longer walking just staggering, you know, we're, we're no longer walking just by the Spirit. Mm-hmm. We're walking in love. And we read in John 15 that he who abides in love. Are you with me? That's what we're getting to. We're getting to the place where we walk in love. Walking by the Spirit is to get you to walk in love. Mm. That's what sanctification is all about. Because we know, first, we're the 13. You can do everything that is deemed righteous, but if there's no love, it's nothing. Our focus needs to be walking in love. Well, how do I love the Lord? I obey. Mm-hmm. Well, gee, how do I obey? Well, I study His Word. Mm-hmm. How can I obey something I don't know? It's a very simple equation. So, don't be embarrassed on the last day. Don't be ashamed. Because God shows you all the errors of unbelief, and the errors of unbelief are there because you just didn't no. know. No. And He says, um, <laughs> "Help me out, son. Uh, you were living in an age where you had access to a Bible. Mm. It was actually written down. Mm. And if that wasn't enough, son, uh, you had a computer in your house. Mm-hmm. You had the Bible electronically. So, why were you ignorant?" Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And what do you do is show you all the days of your life where the thought came, Holy Spirit talking, study your word. I get to it. Study your word. I, I, gotta, I gotta get to work. Study your word. I, I gotta work during lunch. Study your word. Uh, uh, my, my favorite show is on TV. <laughs> study your word. Oh, I'm so tired. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's day one. <clears throat> Next day, study your word. I gotta get to work. And he, he keeps doing it, and it's like, son, I kept trying to tell you, son. Mm-hmm. I kept trying to give you, but the world was more important. Mm-hmm. You exchanged what you thought would give you life in the world mm-hmm. for what really gives you life in the Word. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's abide. Amen. Let's all be able to say to the question, are we abiding, a resounding, yes, we are. Are Amen. and be able to say it with all truth, all sincerity, and no doubt. Amen. Thank you. Lord, we thank you that you have uh, uh, continued to bring correction. That we must, must remember what you said: that man cannot live by bread alone, the things of the, of the world, but by every word which proceeded from your mouth, the, the word of God. Lord, help us to embrace that. Help us to reprioritize our daily lives where you are number one. We spend time with you through prayer and through study and through obedience, Lord. Help us to fulfill the work you have already started and completed. As you have said, if we abide, we are guaranteed eternal life. Help us not to believe we have eternal life, but help us to do those things that guarantee eternal life. Help us to abide, that you may abide in us, and we abide, and your words abide in us. And Lord, we give you all the praise, the glory, and honor. Help us, Lord, that the, the meditations of our heart and the, and, and, and the things that come out of us, Lord, are pleasing in your sight. 
It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Amen.